Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. With this video, we are going to start a new chapter in our subject microwave engineering. The chapter is microwave linear beam tubes. So this chapter is very very essential to understand microwave engineering as the very fundamental microwave generators we are covering in this chapter. In the previous chapter, we were introduced to microwaves. So very fundamental what exactly the microwave frequencies are, various frequency band designations we have seen. We have also seen what exactly the application areas of this field are and how the microwaves benefit to the society with different applications. Looking at the electron motion in the presence of electric field, magnetic field and the electromagnetic field, we were also introduced to the velocity modulation as a principle of the microwave devices and for the same we are taking this family microwave linear beam tubes. So let us see the details. So here we come to the title microwave linear beam tubes. So as in the previous chapter I have already introduced few of the microwave devices that the microwave tubes are actually essential modifications of the traditional vacuum tube devices. So from the traditional vacuum tube devices I take one example here. So in this example we consider vacuum tube diode here. So as the name is vacuum tube diode it has two terminals. So here we consider this is a vacuum tube and inside it this is the first electrode first terminal. So this is supposed to be called as plate or sometimes it is also referred to as anode. The another terminal here can be connected to the opposite side of this particular tube and it is denoted with this particular sign which is especially for the cathode that I denote here with the help of capital K. Now these are the two terminals. To these two terminals a DC supply is provided here. So let us say V0 is the DC supply provided the positive terminal to the plate here or anode and the negative terminal given to the cathode. So as negative terminal is given to the cathode with the help of the heating element it is supposed to generate free electrons here at the surface and as the plate is positively charged it is attracting these electrons. So electron move from cathode terminal to that of the anode or plate terminal inside this vacuum tube. Now how exactly these vacuum tubes are modified to the microwave tubes that we shall definitely see into the subsequent lecture here. So here the topic title is microwave linear beam tubes. So here the beam tube is there. The beam is a course of electron from cathode to that of the plate here. This beam is linear. Linear with the microwave here. So when the vacuum tube is supposed to get modified in the form of microwave tube, the microwave is having interaction with that of the electron beam. The electron beam is holding the energy. First of all, as we apply the DC potential here, it has some potential energy and here it is getting converted to that of the kinetic energy. In between the journey from cathode location to the anode location, the microwave is having the interaction with that of the electron beam. So this kinetic energy benefits the microwave for the applications of oscillations and for the applications of amplification. So for oscillator we have reflex histone. So another example of microwave tube oscillator is the magnetron also but that is not having the linearity with that of the electron beam and the microwave. Especially the microwave is electromagnetic wave that is having the frequency ranging from 1 gigahertz to that of the 300 gigahertz. So now when we talk about the electromagnetic wave it has two components electric wave and that of the magnetic wave. So I draw a figure here. So here we take the help of three axes from the rectangular coordinate system. The axes are x, y and z axis. So I name this to be the 
x axis this one to be the y axis and this one z axis that are mutually perpendicular to each other considering z to be the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave we have suppose along the y axis we have one wave that is having variations into the positive and negative regions here so this should be completely equal this is the one wave cycle right from the origin this is the positive part this is the negative part as this is suppose for example representing electric wave this is the electric field intensity vector so from this z axis position we can represent electric field intensity vectors in the positive direction like this and in the negative direction like this to the electric wave the magnetic field intensity vectors are mutually perpendicular so it is supposed to be into the x direction here so electric wave is having the variations into the yz plane the magnetic wave represented with h bar is having the variations into the xz plane so these vectors can be denoted like this so e and h are perpendicular to each other now we come back to the title so in this title the microwave linear beam tube when the microwave is interacting with that of the electron beam so it is having a journey from cathode to that of the plate or anode so in that interaction if the plane of magnetic field is linear or in the same plane to that of the electron beam so we categorize all such microwave tubes to be of linear beam tubes so this is just the introduction to what exactly the microwave linear beam tubes are now we shall see a simple classification or number of devices that are coming under this family so here i mentioned the title of the family that is linear beam tubes in a simplified form the microwave linear beam tubes are also referred by the name o type here o stands for the original type so these were the microwave tubes very first of all invented and then the another category was invented further so this microwave linear beam tubes is having the two types very first of all so i get it to the two streams in this diagram here the very first stream is of use of cavities here and in the second there it is a use of slow wave structure now you are very well familiar with the metallic cavities that are used for the purpose of resonance so these microwave cavities here i call microwave cavities here after are used in this particular category here whereas slow wave structure is some kind of attenuator because the intention here is that the microwave should spend more and more time with that of the electron beam so that there will be more interaction with the energy and at the end the microwave will be benefited especially for the example of amplification so the slow wave structure we shall be definitely learning when we shall be addressing the topic traveling wave tube whereas the cavities will be addressed for the microwave tubes for example two cavity cliston working as amplifier reflex cliston as oscillator now in this cavity that i have already mentioned these are the resonant cavities here and the family extends to that of the microwave tubes named by cliston here whereas the slow wave structure is having the two types here one type is having a forward wave whereas the another is having backward wave now for the cliston as we require first of all the microwave energy generator i name it here reflex cliston and 
for the forward wave here we have helix type of traveling wave tube abbreviated as twt next to the helix twt we have coupled cavity twt so i name here coupled cavity twt now the klistron and the helix type of twt or simply twt if they are forming another microwave tube having some advantages some features from klistron and some from the traveling wave tube it is known as twistron and for the backward wave tube we have the example of backward wave amplifier or backward wave oscillator so the thing is that the microwave linear beam tubes are having the magnetic field plane with the linearity of the electron beam that is having a journey from cathode terminal to the plate terminal so these type of tubes are called as microwave linear beam tubes so by the next lecture we shall be addressing the second topic of this chapter the topic is conventional vacuum tubes so i hope you are definitely getting the knowledge we share for microwave engineering for more such knowledge you can subscribe to ekada channel thank you